Compliance, they preach. Support the system, they beseech. But when the enforcers become the trespassers, where does that leave the creed of back to blue? Hello again, this is San Joaquin Valley Transparency, diving deep into the underbelly of power's abuse. A recent revelation from Waukegan Police, a body camera's unblinking eye, has cast a disturbing light. Officer Richard Tabis, now facing charges of felony official misconduct and misdemeanor battery, seems to have forgotten the weight of the badge. The public records spill the story. Tabis, the transporter, turning into the aggressor. It was a December afternoon when the police had their man. Booked for domestic battery, nothing out of the ordinary. The suspect, compliant, hands cuffed behind his back, was being transferred to Tabisa's custody. His car ready to ferry to the lockup, but the script flipped. The suspect halted, and Tabis, in a display of gratuitous force, hurled him to the ground. The concrete did not yield, and the suspect's groans were met with mockery from Tabis. Oh, you fell, dude. Why'd you fall? Threats of a lawsuit from the grounded man were met with helping hands, but no remorse. As the suspect was ushered into the squad car, another voice chimed in, mocking his pain, calling him a stupid motherfucker. Lake County's top legal eagle, Eric Reinhardt, notes the presence of seven officers, a situation where the suspect was anything but resistant. Despite this, the charges stand. Domestic battery against the suspect. A looming court date for Tabis. The story unravels further. The state's attorney's office is now scrutinizing Tabisa's every case as the officer awaits his day in court. Benched on administrative leave, so I ask, in this twisted tale of law and order, where does the truth lie? Check out this video. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Check the one back. So you got a double lock? Oh, we got a double lock. Oh, you got a double lock? For next time. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, you fell, dude. Oh, oh, Why'd you fall? Oh, okay. Why'd you fall? Oh, oh, oh. Get off. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker. Oh, my God. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I got it. Alright. You still crying? I'll tell you, stupid motherfucker. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll see you in there. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you. Oh, oh. I put that uh, vanilla envelope in the back of your Okay, appreciate you. All right, folks, and here are my final thoughts. I really am doing my best to support police, but these types of videos make it hard for me to do so. These videos keep popping off in my feed when I get lost in the scroll. This cop deserves prison time, as well as all the other cops that just stood by and did nothing. This is exactly why people say there are no good cops. Where were the supposed good cops in this video? Not one of them stepped in, nor did they say anything to the cop who did this to tarnish the reputation of the entire department and the credibility of policing throughout the nation. This is another disgrace, and the cops should have a parade to see them off to prison to show the people they are good. They only have police parades to show the people they care more about themselves than they do you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll keep you updated on the story as it develops. Make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss it. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.